So hello and welcome back to Tanishka Mangla YouTube channel. So today I am going to explain the code of this project from White Hat Junior called It's Dicey. So let's begin. So first I have done the full designing of it. So I click on this design section over here. And then over here I have this screen over here. I have the ID of the screen which is the name of the screen is Dice. You can do any uh, you can do anything you want. You can even put screen one but i want to put dice but i want to put dice over here so i have put dice over here and then over here i have put an image so now if you want to put an image over here so over here you can see this image section below the this radio button so you drag the image over here on the screen and over here it is image 3 width height uh, x position y position so over here where it is the image you click on choose and already and in the project already all of the six sides of dices are downloaded so you do will not have to go to google or any of or yahoo any of the microsoft apps and download all the pictures they're already downloaded on the project so that's it then you just click on choose uh, over here and then you click on if I want to do this 2.png which is image 2 I click on choose and over here this has come my image has come but for now I'm going to delete it as it does not need use in this project only one of these images needs to be used which is the image 1.png so now over here comes this label over here so how as this is a blank label you must be wondering that how I got to know that the label is over here. So if you see in these design sections, where there are actually these small, uh, there are actually these small arrows over here, these grey arrows. So if you, so for that they show the where are all your components located. So that's why I got to know. That's how. So now back to the code. It is when the ID is of this is. Over here, it is label one. So the ID of this label is label one. Text is nothing. It is a blank label. So width is one twenty, height is one hundred and ten. X position, which is the horizontal line, is one hundred. Y position, which is the vertical line, is two hundred and fifty. Text color is black. Background color is white over here. So if it is nothing, it is white only. Font family. Arial font size 100, text alignment center, border width 0, border color is going to be this thing over here. But as the border color is nothing, it is again nothing, it is border radius 0. So if, you, if I change the radius of is 55 over here. So basically the radius is used to make the edges a little bit more rounder like this. A little bit more round. Like it is now as it is zero. It is all it is just um, it is just a call it is just a cube. But if I make it a little bit if I increase the value, the edges are going to actually be a little curved like this, right? It is on the die. So then it is on this. So then we come to the last component, which is the button over here. So this was the button, and over here it is ID is going to be button one, and the text is going to be told me width is going to be ninety, height is going to be twenty five, X position is going to be one hundred and ten, Y position is going to be three hundred and eighty. Text color is going to be white. Background color is going to be this um, turquoise. Font family is going to be Arial. Font size is going to be 14. Text alignment is going to be center. Image is going to be nothing. Border width is going to be 0. Border color is going to be this black over here. And border radius is going to be 0. So... Now I have also chosen the theme as classic over here. You can choose anything you want. You can even choose orange if you want to uh, make your label visible. But I did not want to do that. That's why I chose the theme classical. So 
see now all these arrows over here if you click on code over here the arrows will automatically be invisible they will automatically be removed from the screen so that is it so now we come to the code over here it is on event when button 1 is going to be clicked this was button 1 when it is going to be clicked variable x I have declared a variable and the variable's name is x is equal to any random number from 1 to 6 and set number label 1 x. So these two blocks over here mean that variable x is going to be having the value of any random number between 1 to 6 and whatever the value of the number is going to be over here it is going to be displayed on the blank label over here that's why I have done set number. So now we can even do set text over here but I chose set number because the numbers have to be visible not any text has to be visible that's why I chose set number and this is all going to be happen when the button 1 this button is going to be clicked so then it is if so I went to the control section and drag this if block from over here and I chose if x is equal to 1 set image url image 1 one dot png so now if you come to the design section and click on this image and click on choose over here you will be able to see that there is this one dot png two dot png three dot png like this there are six dot pngs there are six pngs for that so that's why I have only chose one PNG as over here if you if you come to the code section once again. Over here it is set image URL image one to one dot png. So this block means that set image URL the image one which was this the ID was image one. We are going to set it to one dot png which is this only. So now so now you must be wondering that already this is kept over here. So why have Put it in the code for that also because if the value of x is 1 and I do not write this code over here it is not going to show the the screen is not going to show it that now you have to roll by, by it by 1 your dice will have to roll by 1 so that's why I put it then it is if x is equal to 2 if the value of x is equal to 2 set image url image 1 2 dot png if x is equal to 3, set image url image 1 3 dot png. If x is equal to 4, set image url image 1 4 dot png. If x is equal to 5, set image url image 1 5 dot png. And if x is equal to 6, set image url 6 dot png. So only from that one image, from this image, all of our pngs are going to be visible. So now I'm going to quickly run it and over here I click on this button roll me and it, the value of it is 5 over here. So that's why the drive changed to 5, the image 1 changed to 5 and on the blank label 5 got visible. So now again if I click on roll me 4, so 4 is going to be visible. I, click, I start clicking on roll me and every time the value is changing. So this was the code from this project from White Hat Junior called It's Dicey and it was a project from ADV Class 26 and until I make a new video bye bye and keep coding.